Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Blind Legendary playthrough. And it just dawned on me that Phoenix Point is our main uh, base, so if that would be overrun, is the game over? I don't know, potentially not, but you know, maybe I should have put more than just six people here. Maybe you can do that with, uh, say, two teams. Anyways, let's start the mission and get it going. All right, well, it's do or die time. We got our base ahead of us. A lot of key structures that I would really, really not like to be injured. Let's take a look. So we got Dilly G, the man with a sniper rifle. I wonder, are we better off putting him over here? There's only this one entrance. Or even down here. Or right over here. I like the idea of high ground. Sort of makes me believe that he's a real sniper. High ground to helps with that. Well, he is a real sniper, but you know what I mean. It's just more believable. He and the Butcher Owens. We do have another heavy over here, Shattered Realm. Looks a bit different like we've seen them the last time. I do have uh, these bad boys here. Devices that help us to capture them. Oiler. Pretty much will be taking the sniper position up here. It's two weapons, the uh, the assault rifle and then the sniper rifle. Okay, cool. So, Dranks, straight up uh, going to take the brunt of uh, the enemy. Pretty good aiming, uh, so we're okay here. Good, we got Shattered Realm. Melee weapon. Does have uh, the Disciples Fist of Anu with him, if push comes to shove. Can immediately switch, so that's not a problem either. But I think we're going with that rocket launcher for now. Good, my tactic is the moment that they come in, we're actually starting to hit them. Oh, and we got our little buggy here. Fantastic. Let's see what the enemies are coming up with, because I feel we do have an absolute monster of a defense squad. Grell as a Berserker would be the third one in the front line. Let's put her here for now.
Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Let them come. Okay, so we indeed do have quite a few enemies uh, that are coming in. No one is going to get through this. Not as long as we're standing here. Birdie moves up. Removes all of the cover, but okay. Six armor, my dude. That's all you got. Good. Where are. Okay. So that's one. Let's test if this is working out. One. Two. Is that guy paralyzed? 16 out of 14. That means he should be done. Done, done. Not sure if we can capture him that way. Receiving. In my sights. Oh, One more to the list. Let's blast them. Okay. Let's try that again. Just need the right angle. Not Okay, our snipers are not doing a fantastic job this time. Um, I tell you what. If we war cry them, that should keep them pretty much in check, shouldn't it? One, two. Try three and get into cover four. Moves forward, free aim onto the pincer. And we're using our shield. Overwatch. Ready. Sword.
can't fully move up so I think what we're going to do instead is move to here I think I want this guy down yeah mainly because his uh, his rocket launcher is quite a problem okay well so far everything is good do we want to end the turn? Yes. This guy is still paralyzed. <laughs> that was a mistake, my dude. Quite literally put yourself right next to the guys that can stun you. Eight out of thirty eight paralysis. He's like super paralyzed. I want that pistol as well. The one that um, that paralyzes. Good. Moves up. Move to here and shield in my sights nope overwatching i think we out. pretty much brought way too much uh firepower to this party the enemies are not standing a chance but better that way than <clears throat> getting obliterated <laughs> Oh, I want that siren. Okay, I like it. Good shit. Moving forward.
one. And Shattered Realm goes two. Three. Forty-four. Okay, but I do have an idea. Handing over more actions via Onslaught. Heavily, heavily paralyzed. Time to aim. Target missed. Yeah, that's the problem that I figured we would have I can't really hit in hit the guy from where we're standing moves up And takes a shield in this direction. Ready to roll. Okay, we could theoretically hit him. Just requires a really good shot. Minimum damage, not a lot. That guy is really paralyzed. And we are paralyzing him as well. Ian moves up. Drenks moves up. I would say even Dilly G moves up. I can put him to here. Blocking the entrance. Mm 
Okay, end of turn. Mind Fragger comes in. Mind Fragger dies. Okay, we got our few first captives. 100% protected, 500. Got small injuries, but oh yeah. Everybody came out well ahead of the enemy. I absolutely love it when your soldiers start to progress. Our prime team definitely, you can it, there's a noticeable difference with the higher level soldiers. I was worried at the beginning that you wouldn't notice it, but it is very, very noticeable. We got ourselves quite a few uh, enemies. Damage on sirens is increased by 10%. That is really, really good. And we got more of the mutagen resources, whatever that means. Let me fix uh, Discord again. Good. Apologies for that. got more archaeology probes on the way haven't really found anything yet but maybe it's automatically extracting it I don't know I think we do have not enough production bases looking at that five research labs two production bases looks a little bit lopsided I think I think we're going to do some more production bases. Two for ten, two for twelve is good. Two for ten is still okay. Okay, in order to repair, we need to get back to our city. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. So, what are the others doing? Well, that is a perfect coincidence because we can go here. And what is the second team doing? Tiamat still looks really, really, really rough. Did they even regenerate stamina? Good. We're going to give him marksman, that is not bad. 
for for Hexor's general aim. That will make him actually quite good. Uh, we had a couple of others that were leveling up. Uh, all attacks that uh, deal damage also inflict viral damage. That is cool, but we don't have multi attacks on him yet. Did we finally get a melee weapon? No, uh, we need to fix that. Okay, this team, it would take a long time to come back, but we need to let them rest. And we need to defend. Attacker strength 16, defender strength 15. That is the highest strength that I've seen so far. So let's see how that is playing out. We do have our prime team, uh, threat level extreme. And the rewards are rather good. Plus we would get quite a bit of attitude change if we successfully pull this off. But that's going to happen next time. For now, I wish you the best of a happy day. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.